We learned quite a bit about noun phrases in the last module. We saw that a noun phrase is a phrase which has a noun as its head, and that it can have different kinds of pre-modifiers and post-modifiers. Now we're going to look in more detail at exactly which kinds of things can go in which place in a noun phrase. Noun phrases basically follow the general structure for phrases that we looked at in the last module. An obligatory head and optional pre-modifiers and post-modifiers. But noun phrases can have an additional element in them which we don't find in any other kinds of phrases. A determiner. If there is a determiner in the noun phrase, it's always the first word of the noun phrase. We have to say the big book, not big the book or big book the. As we saw in week four, there are different kinds of words that can go in the determiner slot of a noun phrase. We'll briefly repeat them here. They are articles, like a book or the book, demonstratives, like this book or that book, possessives, like my book or his book, and quantifiers, like three books or many books. You may remember that there is normally only room for a single word in the determiner slot. We can't say, for example, are the book or his that book or the those books. There is one exception. It is possible to have two determiners if one of them is a quantifier, as in all his books or those three books. If there is a pre-modifier in the noun phrase, it is usually an adjective or an adjective phrase. The big book, for example, or the extremely fluffy kitten. But remember that not everything which pre-modifies a noun is an adjective. When we talked about parts of speech, we said that there were two things an adjective had to be able to do. Come before the noun, in other words, be a pre-modifier in a noun phrase, or come after a copula verb, the book is big. Occasionally, we find a noun in the pre-modifier position of a noun phrase, the university students. University can't be an adjective because it can't follow the copula verb. We can't say the students are university. So it is possible to have a noun phrase where both the head and the pre-modifier are nouns. Post-modifiers in noun phrases can be of two types, prepositional phrases and relative clauses. In the noun phrase, the book on the table, book is the head, and on the table is a post-modifier. On the table is a prepositional phrase. In the noun phrase, the book that I got for my birthday, book is the head, and that I got for my birthday is a post-modifier which tells you which book I'm talking about. That I got for my birthday is a relative clause. We'll talk more about relative clauses later in the course. Here is an example of a noun phrase where all the slots are filled. The very handsome guy at the back of the class. The adjective phrase very handsome is filling the pre-modifier slot. The prepositional phrase at the back of the class is filling the post-modifier slot. The noun guy is the head. The whole structure is a noun phrase. Phrase structure notation. The last example used square brackets to indicate the structure of the phrase, the very handsome guy at the back of the class. It's important to understand how this way of presenting phrases works as this is the notation that you're expected to use for the grammatical analysis in your case study. Each set of square brackets enclose a phrase. The brackets are labelled to indicate which type of phrase it is. In the example, the outermost set of brackets shows you where the entire noun phrase begins and ends. The very handsome guy at the back of the class. The label NP at the end means that everything inside these brackets is a noun phrase. But this phrase in fact has two other phrases inside it. There's an adjective phrase, very handsome, which pre-modifies the noun. There's also a prepositional phrase, 
at the back of the class, which post modifies the noun. Notice that we never put brackets around individual words, unless they're also phrases. The head of a phrase is always just a single word. It can't be a phrase, and so we don't put a bracket around it. But we can give it a label, such as N for noun or head, to show that it is the head noun of the phrase. Phrases inside phrases, form and function. Another thing that we see from the example we just discussed is that it is possible for a phrase to have another phrase inside it. You may be confused about how this works. For example, we said that at the back of the class was a post modifier in the noun phrase, the very handsome guy at the back of the class. But we also said that it was a prepositional phrase. How can it be both things at once? There's a very important distinction in grammar between the form and the function of a word or a phrase. The difference between what it is and what it does. At the back of the class is a prepositional phrase. We know this because its head, at, is a preposition. Remember that what decides what kind of phrase we have is what part of speech its head is. That doesn't change no matter what we use the phrase for. What kind of phrase something is only depends on the words that are in the phrase, specifically what the head is. But we can use a prepositional phrase for different things. Being a post modifier in a noun phrase is a function. It's a job that can be done by different kinds of things. You may recall from what we said previously that there are two things that can do the job of being a post modifier in a noun phrase a prepositional phrase and a relative clause. We'll learn what a relative clause is a bit later in the course. If you have a plastic bottle that you normally use to drink water from, and then one day you need to water your pot plant but you can't find a watering can, you might use the bottle to water the plant. That doesn't mean it isn't a bottle anymore. The fact that it's a bottle is due to the shape that it is, and to some extent the material it's made of. It doesn't magically turn into a watering can just because you happen to use it to water your plant with. Phrases are the same way. A prepositional phrase is a prepositional phrase because of the shape that it is, the fact that its head is a preposition. It doesn't stop being a prepositional phrase because we use it as the post modifier in a noun phrase. It just means that it is now a prepositional phrase which is doing the job of being a post modifier in a noun phrase. We could use it to do a different kind of job, for example, being the post modifier in a verb phrase, as in sit at the back of the class. This is like taking the drinking bottle and using it to water your plant. It doesn't stop being a bottle, it's just a bottle being used to do a different job. All the different slots that we've been talking about as being parts of a phrase are jobs that can be done by different kinds of things. In the noun phrase, the job of being the head has to be done by a noun, or a pronoun, which we'll get back to in a minute. The job of being a determiner can be done by an article, a demonstrative, a possessive, or a quantifier. The job of being a pre-modifier can be done by an adjective phrase, and sometimes by a noun. And the job of being a post-modifier can be done by a prepositional phrase, or a relative clause. When we start looking at other types of phrases, we'll see that the difference isn't what the jobs are, but which kinds of things can do the jobs in each type of phrase. Pronouns and noun phrases. Instead of a noun, it's possible for the head of a noun phrase to be a pronoun. If the head of a noun phrase is a pronoun, all the other slots in the noun phrase have to be empty. Pronouns don't combine with determiners, pre-modifiers or post-modifiers. For example, the people in the room is a noun phrase, where the noun people is the head. There's also a determiner, the, and a post modifier, in the room. Pronouns can't do this. We can't say the they, or they in the room. The pronoun has to be the only element of the noun phrase. Another way of looking at it is to say that a pronoun functions like a noun phrase on its own. This means that if, if something is a noun phrase, it is possible to replace it with a pronoun. Instead of, the pretty red-haired girl in the green dress came running across the street, we could say, 
she came running across the street. She is a pronoun. It can replace the whole noun phrase, the pretty red haired girl in the green dress. It can't replace any other sequence of words. For example, it can't replace just girl in the green dress. The pretty red haired she came running down the street doesn't work. It also can't replace the pretty red haired girl in the green dress came. She running down the street doesn't work either. So a good way of testing whether something is a noun phrase is to see if it is possible to replace it with a pronoun. Summary. The structure of noun phrases. This diagram summarises the elements of the noun phrase and the type of word or phrase that can fill each function. Remember that the head is the only obligatory part of the phrase. There can also be a determiner, which can be an article, a demonstrative, a possessive or a quantifier. There can be one or more pre-modifiers, which are usually adjectives or adjective phrases, but can sometimes be nouns. And there can also be one or more post-modifiers, which can be either prepositional phrases or relative clauses.